here's the sound box ready to accept the top the top was made with ebony and Sitka screws as a double top a simple fan brace for fans two cross struts uh, it was glued and held in place with rubber bands after it dried we routed some channels to accept the binding and the purfling uh, which have the function of uh, protecting the edges, limiting the moisture exchange and also provide a, a nice look to the instrument. After the bindings, which made out of ebony and wood purfling, uh, after they were dried, we proceeded to scrape them down, sand them and round uh, rounded the edges. Here's a detail of the the bindings and permanents. You can see the tight uh, fibers of the silk spruce. Here's the piece of ebony that will serve as the fretboard. Now ebony is an excellent choice for fretboards. It's absolutely beautiful and very resistant. So it will give you years of uh, satisfactory usage. Here's a design that would be carved onto the, the head headstock. Here's a piece of coco bolo being glued to the headstock. We're drilling the holes to receive the tuners, uh, cutting out the channels, and finish, uh, finishing the headstock. Here is the headstock already carved, finished, or semi-finished, I should say, because there will be minor adjustments later. Here you see it um, very close to its final state. The next step will be to glue the threadboard. It will be measured, uh, tapered, cut, then glued onto the next stock. The threads will be cut out, the thread channels. The threads will be hammered in place and they will be dressed so that the edges are nicely rounded. The threads have to be absolutely level. And finally, the neck was carved using rasps draw knives, sandpaper. Here um, we cover the fret before we apply the finish. Here I'm applying first the first coating of uh, finish. I use true oil, it's very flexible, very easy to apply, very forgiving. And this process will take me about two weeks to apply, two more weeks until the finish is dry. And after that, I'm planning on installing a small uh, pickup.